Hey, this is James Marsters, and you're watching Next Level Productions. I'm here in Iowa at Comic-Con with... James Marsters. So James, how's acting, the acting world going on for you? What have you been up to since Angel Smallville? Wow, uh, I've been very lucky to keep acting. Uh, right now I'm uh, filming a Marvel TV show for Hulu called Runaways, uh, which is about a group of teenagers that figure out that their parents are evil, uh, which is basically every teenager on Earth. So it's become very popular. And uh, I play the biggest douchebag of all the parents. So, right, that's yeah. good. They're all mildly evil, and then they cut to me, and I'm just horrible. And I love it. Right, right. So since Smallville days, how did you get to part on Smallville? Uh, the creator, Al Goff, uh, who has got a new show called Into the Badlands on AMC. It's a kung fu western. A great show. Uh, he took me out to dinner, and he was wanting me to come on uh, to play Brainiac. And uh, I... I I told him, I said, you know, Al, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a Batman guy. And he goes, what? Why? I said, well, because when Batman goes to work, you don't know if he's coming home, because if you shoot that guy, he's dead. So it's very exciting when he, when he puts on the cowl, uh, it's a very exciting night. Uh, but Batman, you know, I mean, but Superman is gonna be fine. So I said, you know, you can pull out kryptonite when you do a movie. A Superman movie always has kryptonite because you have to have that moment when the hero's life is in danger, but he keeps fighting for the good of other people. That's the hero's journey. But you can't pull out kryptonite every week on a television show. It's gonna get cheesy fast, man. How are you gonna deal with that? How do you get that, how do you get your main character to be vulnerable enough to have an adventure? And he said, oh James, I got you. He's a teenager. He's vulnerable to everything. And I dropped my fork and I stared at Al and I said, you are a genius, man. You fixed Superman. That's gonna work great. And it's a genius show. When you think that, that you could do 10 years about Superman and it wouldn't get repetitive uh, and you would only need kryptonite every once in a while when it was fun, uh, I, think, I think Al Goff is a genius. I'm happy. I'm so proud to be on that show. Right. I thought Tom Welling should have been Superman all along. He's fabulous. And so, I mean, what is Tom Welling like in person? Tom is a lot like Clark Kent, actually. He is, uh, he is a rock. He's always, he's always kind and patient and present. He's a natural born leader. Uh, something tells you don't mess with that nice guy. You know, I don't know what that is. Right. Maybe that he's 6'5", right. maybe. Uh, but Tom will tell you the naughtiest jokes you've ever heard in your life. I heard Michael Rosenbaum does the same thing. Oh yeah, well Michael is just crazy like me. He's a maniac like I am, but, but Tom, I think he wants to let people know that he's not actually Clark Kent. So he'll just like let loose with these horrible jokes. Right. And I told him, I said, Tom, don't tell me your jokes before before breakfast because you just ruined my whole day. <laughs> I just can't take it. Wait, wait until lunch, man. Right. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, James. I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> and, it me and then I would be sipping my coffee 4.30 in the morning and just barely awake, and he'd be telling one of his worst jokes right behind me, and I'd turn around, stop it, and he's all alone. He goes, oh, James, I hope you didn't hear that. I was, I was telling Rick, but Rick had to go, so I hope you didn't get your mind bent by my jokes. Right, yeah. right. He, Tom is one of my favorite people in the world. He's, right. he's a guy's guy, but he's a really nice guy. Well, we hope to see you in some more Mar uh, Marvel superhero things and yeah. more, more Superman movies and shows and the list goes on and on and on. Right. So I'm like foot fungus. I'll never go away. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, man. All right.